Now, let's come to the first problem. The diagram shows a manometer containing water connected to vessel of gas, density of water, 1000 kg per meter cube, gravitational field strength, 10 newton per kg. Calculate the difference in pressure between A and B. Now, the difference in pressure, we know here, this is the gas pressure. And along this part here, there's the liquid pressure and atmospheric pressure. And so we start from the very basic. A, pressure of gas equals, sorry, I, I got to go a little bit further back. This point is A, and this point let it be C. So pressure at A equals pressure at C. So pressure at A, we have pressure of gas equals pressure of atmosphere plus pressure of the liquid. The difference in pressure between two limbs A and B, the difference in the pressure between A and B, between A and B. So the difference is actually here. Sorry, poor choice of highlighter. The difference is actually here. Alright, so what we're going to take is P gas minus P naught equals liquid pressure. So the liquid pressure is the one that you're interested in. And that will give H rho G. Note your density is 1000. Gravitational field strength is Newton per kg. All these are in SI unit. So you have to convert 20 cm to SI unit. So that will 0 0.20 times 13600. Sorry. 1000 times 10. And that will give 2000. Newton per meter square. So that's the difference in pressure. Now you're given more information. You're given that the atmospheric pressure is now 1,103 kilopascal. Calculate the pressure of the gas in the vessel. So you have you are supposed to calculate pressure of gas. Atmospheric pressure equals 103 kilopascal. And the liquid pressure you found is 2000 pascal. But that's also 2 kilopascal. And note what you found earlier. Pressure of gas equals atmospheric pressure plus PL. So pressure of gas equals P0 plus PL equals 103 plus 2 equals 105 kilo pascal. The gas in the vessel now has a pressure of 200 kilo pascal. Suggest a suitable liquid for your manometer. Explain your choice. Now, in order to, for me to find a suitable liquid, I ne first need to find, ne I first need to determine what will the height be if water is used. And it goes back to the same thing, pressure of gas equals atmospheric pressure plus pressure of liquid. Pressure of gas is now 200 kilopascal. So this is now 200,000 equals atmospheric pressure 103,000 plus liquid pressure. And the liquid pressure equals 97,000 pascal. So from P equals H rho G. So if I use water, that means my density is now 1,000, 97,000 equals H 
rho g and my h is 9.7 meters so this means the height of manometer is more than 9.7 meters if you can't visualize how tall is 9.7 meters try and picture yourself running 10 by 10 by 4 shuttle run that should give you an idea of how tall 9.7 meters is or 10 meters okay and nobody carries a millimeter around with that kind of height right it really looks ridiculous and impractical and remember earlier on in the lesson I also did mention that uh, if you want to measure very high pressure mercury is preferred right for high pressure mercury is preferred therefore for pressure of 97,000 Pascal I ask what if mercury is used so density of mercury equals 13600 kilogram per meter cube that will give me P equals H rho G 97,000 equals H rho G so what's the height of the manometer now and that will give me zero point seven one three meters and that will be seventy one point three centimeters well it's a bit long also but at least it's more manageable than nine point seven meters and that's the reason why okay for a for high pressure high density liquid is preferred for its shorter manometer okay you don't need such a tall manometer